that it's early morning because I usually have a glass of water or two because I listen to my boy, my foodie boy, Mark Weens. If you guys follow Mark Weens, he's an awesome dude. And why do you need to know this detail? Because I got Fiji water. I've been saving them for the morning because I gotta consume these so that we can uh, use them as ecospheres. Just to get the credits out of the way, uh, shout out to the OGs in this game, the pioneers of this specific style of video or hobby. Of course, I'm talking about life in jars, atomic shrimp, and Serpa design, because why not? Bottoms up, boys. Now, I'm not some water aficionado or anything. You want a nice, crisp, balanced flavor, so no Dasani. I'd recommend Aquafina for a beginner's water. But this is definitely no Dasani. This is some fresh stuff, man. It says one liter right here. This is a whole liter of water. <sighs> Yum. Before I finished, this whole bottle, one liter bottle of Fiji water, which tastes really good. I realized I could just use these. They were lying around. They're not being put to use. They're not harming nobody. And they, they seem like a better candidate than Fiji water. <laughs> but I've already drank this much. And I, I'm glad I wasn't gonna dig into this one. I mean, they look small on camera, but boy, let me show you. Yeah, so I think this, this is a better idea. Mason jars, why not? This is what it's meant to be, right? To be made into ecospheres. Let's do that. Some of you may be wondering, Chris, why don't you just pour this water out and save it? It's not the same, man. You gotta enjoy Fiji water when it's in the Fiji water bottle. I think I'm overhydrated and I'm probably gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna make one of them fresh water, one of them on salt water, and then I'm gonna compare it after, I don't know, a set amount of time, intervals, maybe every month I'll show you guys. Basically what I'm gonna do is fill each one up with some dirt wherever I find the dirt and then fill it up more with water and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go out of my way to find critters or I'm not gonna go out of my way to find plants or anything. And then I'll close her up and then that'll be it. So I'm literally gonna show you guys what you will get. Um, and it's spring right now, it's March 22nd, uh, May 22nd. I'm actually, I'm not sure if that's spring or summer. It's probably somewhere in between that. So I think it's the perfect time. There's a lot of things coming alive in the dirt, in the soil. And yeah, let's go, let's get on our way. How do people do this?
Wait a second. Is this hornwort? Oh my gosh. It's just hornwort in this pond. Taken over. Yo guys, we're back at the crib with these babies all ready to go. It was actually a super easy and fun process. So this one I believe is the freshwater one, this one is the saltwater. And as you can see, it has already started to settle. But I think I will be giving them one last little shake before I let them settle for, for good. They're both already sealed right on the spot, right after I got everything in, as I showed you guys on our journey. I've been wanting to do this literally for years, and I really regret not starting when I wanted to, because then I would already have videos up for you guys. But something about today, I woke up and I was just like, nope. I'm getting this done for sure. This this is something I want to do. So if you guys have something on your mind for the past few months, years, wanting to do, I highly suggest you start right now with me. Start a new hobby with me. I don't really count this as a brand new hobby. I think it's like a sub hobby from the fish keeping hobby. I'm super excited for both of these. The freshwater one got a hornwort in there. I just randomly scooped up some water and a hornwort plant got into there. <laughs> and for the saltwater, I got some algae and I have no idea what else I got. So that's, I'm really excited for tomorrow morning where I think most of the activity is gonna happen. I don't know, I'm already seeing some exciting things in the freshwater one. I think I might've caught some kind of larvae. Something is swimming in there. All right, well, this is it for today. It's about it's about a wrap um, on our first day, May 22nd, 2020, the start of my first saltwater and freshwater ecosphere.